Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to use macros and VBA scripting. When using Microsoft Word, you may feel the need to repeat a specific action multiple times. This may involve using preset text or inserting specific text with intricate formatting. It can be a chore and you may be wishing for an easier way to do it. Thankfully, there is one. By making use of Word's macros, you can automate repetitive actions and make your life simpler. So what are macros? In Microsoft Word, a macro is a sequence of commands and instructions that you can group together as a single command to automate a task. Macros can be created to perform repetitive tasks, such as formatting text, inserting commonly used phrases, or applying specific styles to a document. Macros are created using the Visual Basic or Applications or VBA programming language, which is built into Word. You can record a series of actions as a macro using the record macro feature, or you can write the VBA code manually using the Visual Basic Editor. Once a macro is created, you can run it to execute the series of commands and instructions it contains. This can save you time and effort when performing repetitive tasks in Word or in simple words. This makes automation very easy and can save a lot of time and effort. The easiest way to create macro is to allow Word to record your actions, then physically perform your desired actions within the document. Once recorded, you can tell Word to repeat what you did at any time. So now that we know what they do, let us learn to make a macro in Microsoft Word. In this example, we will be creating a macro that automatically creates a table. This might be a useful feature if you occasionally see yourself needing to create a new table without manually making a new one or copy and pasting an existing table. First, we need to tell Microsoft Word how to make a table. To do this, we click on View, Macros, Record Macro. We name our macros here. In this example, we will call it Create Table. Underneath the naming box, there are two buttons, Button and Keyboard. This statement is referring to the process of activating a macro in Microsoft Word. A macro is a series of commands and instructions that you can group together as a single command to perform a task automatically. In Microsoft Word, you can choose how you want to activate your macro, either by clicking a button within Word or by pressing a specific key combination hotkey on the keyboard. If you choose to activate your macro using a button, Word will open a new pop-up window. This window allows you to add the button for your macro to the quick access bar. The quick access bar is a toolbar at the top of the Word window that provides easy access to frequently used commands. Adding the button to the quick access bar makes it convenient to run your macro whenever you need it, as you can simply click the button instead of remembering a keyboard shortcut. This is where we want our button, so we will select the macro and click Add, and add it to the list on the right. With the macro still selected, click Modify at the bottom of the list. Here, you can choose what icon your button uses. Pick something that suits your macro, then OK out of all the windows. When you select the keyboard option to activate your macro, you can define which key combination or hotkey you want to assign to it. Microsoft Word supports a variety of combinations such as Ctrl plus a key or Ctrl plus Shift plus a key. This flexibility allows you to choose a hotkey that is convenient for you and easy to remember. Before assigning the hotkey, Word checks if the selected combination is already assigned to another command or function. If it is, Word will alert you to avoid interfering with existing shortcuts. Once you have found an available and suitable key combination, you can click Assign to set it for your macro. After setting up the activation method, Word will start recording your actions. While the macro is recording, any actions you perform in the document will be saved and associated with the macro. This means that when you later activate the macro using the assigned hotkey, Word will repeat those recorded actions automatically, saving you time and effort. In this example, we create a table and fill it out with the essential fields. Because our actions are being recorded, we should be careful not to make any mistakes. Once the table is done, we click View, Macro again, and then click Stop Recording. Now that our macro is recorded, we can make the table at any time we like. If we assign it to a hotkey on the keyboard, we can press those keys to insert a table. 
This means that with a simple press of the designated keys, the table appears instantly in our document, streamlining the process and saving time. We no longer need to navigate through multiple menus or toolbars to insert the table, making our workflow more efficient. Likewise, if we made a button for it, we can find that button in the quick access bar. This provides a visual and easily accessible option for inserting the table. The button is always visible and ready for use, ensuring that whether we prefer using the keyboard or the mouse, we have a quick and convenient way to insert our table. Regardless of which method we selected for the macro, our table is replicated. This consistency means that the table is inserted with the same formatting and structure every time, maintaining uniformity across our document. This also reduces errors and ensures that the table meets our specific requirements without having to manually adjust it each time. When we activate it now, we can recreate our base table with very little hassle. This simplifies our task. As the macro handles all the steps involved in creating the table, we can focus on entering and organizing the data rather than worrying about the table's design and layout. This automation boosts our productivity and allows us to complete our work more quickly and accurately. Now let us learn how to delete a macro. When your macros outlive its use, you can get rid of them by simply clicking View, Macros, View Macros. Select the macro you don't want anymore and click Delete. While macros can be used to make your life easier, they can also have nefarious intents. Never run any macros that have come from an untrusted source or download a Word document attached to a suspicious email. Macro viruses can be a real problem, so make sure you stay safe when using them. When you need to perform repetitive actions in Word, a macro can come. When you need to perform repetitive actions in Word, a macro can come in very handy. Now you know how to make a keyboard or button macro, how to record it, and how to use it once it is made. And that's it. This is how you use macro and VBA scripting. I hope this helps. And before we end this video, please do share, like, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.